Hello, my dashers, and welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to take a shower inside the van. Now, I know I've done shower videos outside the van, but doing it inside the van gets a little tricky, right? Well, sort of. So I have a product from the people that make the car soap. So this is Mojix, and it's called the Tube. What's nice about this little bad boy is that the sides are bendable. So if you have a small area, it'll the sides will bend, and it'll still protect everything um, when you take your shower. And of course, you're probably thinking, a shower in the van? You have such a small van. Where would you put it? Let me show you. So you ready? Let's get to it. So the way that this shower is going to work is pretty much what I've been doing most of my life. And uh, I am half Japanese, raised by a full-blooded Japanese mom. And basically, we have what's called an afuro. Okay, if you want to take a bath, it's called afuro. So it's a huge tub with hot water. Well, bath water. All right. Now, everyone uses this same bath water. And you're probably thinking, ah, oh, gross. Blech. But no. See, in Japan, what they do is they will wash their entire body, do their, wash their hair, everything, their bits and pieces. They wash everything off, rinse everything off, and then get into the tub. So therefore, you're not sitting in dirt and dead skin cells and everything else. So you're washing your body outside of the shower, okay, or outside of the tub. And then you can use the tub. So the whole family would use the one tub. They would soak and relax, get their muscles all nice and nicely. Everything would be clean before getting in. All right. And I do this at, at home base as well. I would take a shower and then fill up my bathtub to just relax and sit. Okay. I'm going to do the same here in the van. So I'm going to use this as my water catchment system. All right. So it is a round tube. I'll put a stool in the middle and then I will go ahead wash all my bits and pieces, do my hair, rinse off and everything else, and then I would be clean. So, I use this one bucket. It's the foldable, collapsible, regular bucket. Nothing special. And a gallon of water. Now, I probably will use half a gallon of water. I won't use this whole entire gallon. But I have it just in case. Okay. So are we ready to go? So let's get to it. So here we are. The package comes out just like this. Now, take this out. And it's just like any other poppable. Let it pop out. <laughs> Now, when you look, there's the two ends. So this is going to be like this. All right. Now I look for, this is the drainage. All right. So that's the bottom. And you can see this is huge. This is really huge. Okay. So I usually, I have a little lip here, so I'm going to put the catchment on the end, okay? And then I'm going to take this, which is the base floor, all right? And this goes in, and it'll create a stable back, a uh, bottom. All right, we're getting there. Four little rods. Now they're just like the camping ones. So I'm going to take the four out, open them up, do them all at the same time.
Ta-da. All right. And then, if you notice, there are two little stanchions. So I'm going to put one in there at the bottom and go to the top. As you can see, it's now going to give me the sides. I'm going to do that to all four. Now I still have one here, and that's so I can bend it down and get in. All right. So this is the tub. As you can see, it bends. So if you've got a tight space, the bend the, the sides will bend in, which is kind of nice. But this is a huge, huge bin. So now this tub will sit there and I'll put a stool in it. You can guess where my uh, my bottom is going to go. Okay, so let's get in. So I would get in, bending this. And of course, put in the last one. And now I'm inside my tub. How cool is this, right? <laughs> As you can see, it comes up to here. So when I'm splashing around and washing all my bits and pieces, I'm not going to get anything wet. This is waterproof. So I am going to use my shower toga because we can't have any, um, accidents happening on camera so let me put this thing on and we'll show you how to do it right so we are going to take this out this is my shower head for my hair so i'm going to keep that that's the simple shower all i did was i cut off the tube there's a long tube that comes here that you're supposed to put on a two liter bottle but um, water goes quickly. So I cut it down to be just this part and it lessens the flow. All right. So let's get ready. Normally I would just take my shower, but this is for demonstration. So we are going to do this right. Here is for my hair, and I'm going to use, a, you can use like a 16 ounce or a two liter bottle of, or a liter bottle of uh, soda. This is a, just a regular water bottle. This goes right on the top there, like this. Now, this is what will be my shower for my hair. Okay, so I will use that as a simple shower. All right, so let's get to washing. Now, if you want warm water and things like that, you can obviously heat up some water, but all I'm doing is I'm gonna dump some of the water into the bucket. Okay, I'll 
just leave a little bit just in case. All right. Now we got to get out my Dr. Brommers. As we all know. Now, before you start really splashing around, make sure that that plug is closed. Yes, it is. Okay. So, let's get to washing. Basically, you're going to take your little towel here. Drop some Dr. Brabbers on it. Lather it up. Let's get to washing. What I like is the splish splashes get contained, okay? I will take my simple shower, put it on top. And now I'm going to rinse off. excess water that's in my bucket. I can just pour it down the drain. Alright. So this is done. Well, I almost used a whole gallon. here and let me show you so again I can just take it off the bottom this is very bendable all right so now I can just step out and I'm gonna put my down here just so I can step out that there's like almost a gallon of water in here, right? So, I will take off the bottom part. Okay, now you can fold it. Okay. Set it 
the side. I put it in the sink, okay? And now you can basically pick this up and drain it into your sink. So that's what we're gonna do. Knowing where the plug is is, is important. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that plug, as you can hear, all the water is going down in there. Right? And now, this is bendable, so it's gonna be bendable. I'm gonna locate that plug, and I'm just gonna open it up. Through it. As you can see, I have it tilted. Get as much of it as I can get out. Dry it up as much as I can, and then I'll let it sit outside and dry up the rest of the way. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to dry these things outside, pack it back up into its little ball, into its little bag, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there, and as always, stop dreaming it and start living it. Bye.